Hey everybody and welcome back to my place of undesignated task, which does self-identify as a shop. Nick Morello, ladies and gentlemen. J.D. Toolco. <laughs> anyway, J.D. Toolco, yeah, this is a Harbor Freight video and I am going to talk to you today about one of the best items at Harbor Freight that you've probably never heard of. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and, and don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you can be notified when I am new content now, and I really appreciate it. All the links and information for what we're going to talk about today will be in the comments below. I also want you to take note of my email below. Please send me email or pictures of your project or whatever. I may just share them on one of my videos. So don't forget to do that. I also want to remind you very quick that tonight at 8 o'clock, Midwest time, Chicago time, 8 o'clock, we're going to be joining Jehu and Ed the Old Tech Guy on Ed the Old Tech Guy's channel, and we're going to be meeting with the council, and there's kind of a cool announcement, so check that out, if you will, tonight, Tuesday night. Okay, so what do we have for you? Well, here, <laughs> you've only been looking at it for about an hour. Shut up, Dale, and get to the point. So we've got a small LED flashlight. This has got a Cobb LED that's a chip on board. So there's actually six LEDs uh, fastened to a piece of substrate below here so we can get some extra light on there. It's battery powered. The battery is easy to change. You can get 2032 watch batteries is what this takes. It takes one 2032 watch battery. You can get a set of two of them for about four bucks off of the, the little battery center at Walmart. You know, it's pretty cheap and they're easy to change. There's a sticker on here that tells you about it for the first time. What you also have on here is this, you got a uh, kind of a, a carabiner type spring clip so you can put it on a keychain or lanyard, that sort of thing, okay? You've got a little magnet on here. That's why I had Nick's tool out here so that you can put that up there if you need to change a tire unless you have an all aluminum vehicle or some stainless steel, something like that that magnets don't stick to. But, um, you know, it's got a handy little magnet on there and it's got a somewhat waterproof switch here on the end. It's got three modes, bright, dim and here's a uh, <laughs> epilepsy trigger so look away ah! so that uh, in an emergency someone can see you very easy to change the battery very cheap to keep batteries for it and very handy everyone in your house should probably have one of these the links and information have the part number and that that information it's 99 cents guys who wouldn't want it for that? Sometimes it's hard to find. You may find it on that little last minute checkout stuff at the, you know, when you get to the checkout stand, there's like a pegboard there with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff on it. But my Harbor Freight said that they didn't have a place to put these, so you have to ask for them. Uh, I had to ask for them. I, I grabbed three or four of them, one for everybody in the house to make sure that we had them. So it's, it's worth it. Go there, ask them if they have it, and they will get you three or four of them. And one of the few things you could still get from Harbor Freight for a dollar. And, you know, it looks like these ones we used to get for free, but it's not going to fit on a keychain as well as this will. That gives you a kind of an idea of what it looks like. Now, that's just about going to wrap it up for us. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share as I asked before. I really appreciate every one of you. I hope I never sound insincere when I am telling you that. So please send me email. Let me know what you think of the content. And if you are coming up on your weekend, my friends, make it a good one. And please take care.